Hello everyone and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. I am Luke Abbott and today we are leaving this land. Sorry, I'm just having to say goodbye to them all. Goodbye, I'll miss you. I will miss you and all of the fun we had, me charging you. Good times. Then I'm having a conversation. The conversations aren't loud. Boom. Um, yeah, so. Today we're going to leave this place and we're going to go to the next world, which I'm hoping I should be able to do. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to do. It. I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. What are you trying to say? Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. What are you trying to say about me? <laughs> You've got a lot of stolen treasure on you. Uh, actually, I found it. I earned it. I earned it fair and square. There was no stealing involved. Man, you should fact check before you come accusing me of stuff. Hmm. We were not talking to that balloonist again. What job's a balloonist anyway? What kind of career is that? Just sits there, like in a hostile land. He's clearly got a deal going on with those orcs. Norks. If he can like literally sit in there in his land and provide transport. To so, yeah, oh like yeah, you're my only customer, Spyro. Yeah, I disbelieve that. There's no real community here. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, look at you. You're also a balloonist. Wow, oh, look at these guys. In a bad mood, look. I can hear an egg thief. Can I see him? Oh, yeah. Can I see the egg thief from here? I feel like there's an egg thief. Um, okay, anyway. Oh man, I thought that was ice. There he was. Man. Oh yeah, you jumped up there, didn't you? <laughs> it would have been brilliant if I could get him from there, but it was not to be. Oh wait, is there anything I should be doing here? No. No. What kind of villain name is Blowhard? Right, let's try and get this egg before we move on. See? He's dropped down. Okay, so he got cocky. He wants to taunt me. Oh, he got cocky, man. He was like, yeah, I escaped. But you know what, I'm going to go back for seconds. And guess what? I always finish my seconds. Cosmos? Cosmos. How do I pronounce it? Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. All right, Mr. Orders. Oh man, I've got to. I've got to. Let's be real here. Oh man, no, I'm trying to line you up to get you. In a. Oh my God. Spray face the right way. Ah oh, yes. Man, that's sweet, it's a like bowling. Right, but I do need something to eat. Look at that, look how pumped that guy is. What's your game, man? What happened? I literally punched the wall. And I must have punched him through the wall. That's pretty cool. Uh, right. So he's like slowly walking towards me, like some sort of like creepy horror movie villain. Just like, yes, I'm only going to attack you at a very, very slow pace. Right, let's keep on blowing on these so I can get that gold jam. I'm not, I don't think I'm supposed to unlock this area yet. I think I meant to let sneak up behind, but somehow I glitched and got there early. No. Oh, before I get you, I want to have a little look up here. So here is the first level, Alpine Ridge. Sounds fun. We were like an Alpine Ridge. 
Uh, and then we could go either one of the ways. Take your pick. I need some sheep though. Ah, oh, thank the sheep for thinking of me. Oh, he's just gonna go in a circle. Oh man, that's about keeping that circle momentum going. Ah, oh. it's quite dizzying to be honest. Oh man, it's all a blur. Oh, he's dead. Come on, that killed him. Oh, come on. I can't quite get to the fire button fast enough. I just want to burn everything. All of these flowers. Oh, kind of got caught in the um, crossfire there. But hey, there's more than one way to uh, skin an egg thief. Oh, that was a bit of a risky maneuver there, but it worked. Yes. Oh, what's that? The whole the wall just transpired against me. Oh. Right. With the introduction of supercharge, this game gets very frustrating. Not this supercharge, but in general, and you'll you'll see why. Xantor. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent! Go ahead. Try it. Okay. First, I want to see if there's anything behind the high gates. No, no, there's nothing behind the high gates. Right. So, supercharge is fine for the moment, but it will get frustrating later, as we we'll see. Basically, gives me the power to go a bit quicker. Crystal flight. Ah. So, this is the um, the token flying one, which we'll ignore in this playthrough because I don't think they make for good content. But it's here if you want it. Boldar will tell us more about it, I presume. This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. I love how... Oh, the dragon's found that was easy. Uh, I love how he's basically like using the skip function. Right. You. I can't seem to get that. What direction then? Who's this little guy? Oh. Thunderman. Right, stop doing that because it's annoying. What's up here? Wizard Peak, eh? Oh! Uh. Here's a chest here. Oh, no! I fell. Oh, we need a key for that. Zoom. That looks like something, doesn't it? Yeah. Aha! Here's the key. That was easy. Open up. Open up. Oh. Must be for a different chest. That I didn't see coming. Are you going to behave? Ah, oh, you messed up, mate. Right. And here we are at the end with the balloonist. But obviously, we have a few more things to do on account of the fact we haven't got all the gems. So let's have a quick peek at what we need. We need, we've got all the eggs, we've got all the gems, but we need 40 more things, which I guess is in... That chest and another chest, and here's the balloonist. What does he want us to do? Spyro, for hop aboard for the Beast Maker's world. Would you like to go? No, well, okay, but I can already go. This balloonist is much nicer than the other balloonist, who just accused me of stealing, which is not really on. Right, anyway, apparently I've missed a key, so let's go and go and find find our key. Um. Can I glide from here? This seems like the highest point of the Oh look, look at that. Anything behind? Right. Uh I've been in there. Alpine Ridge. I don't know man.
Oh, no, that's okay. Oh, I reckon. Oh, I have to do one of those leap of faith jumps where I've got to, like, trust. Trust in the jump and kind of go into the unknown. I then make a random turn that, yay, works out. Life. Please be the right key. Yeah, oh, I said was a third chest and another key. So now I need to find, yeah, a key, yeah? One more key. So where else is there in this place? Was there anything down here other than a sheep? I didn't need that sheep, but okay. No, nothing here. All oh, right, okay. So, so sometimes the fireworks can break this chest, but then other times you need a super weapon. So basically, this is right. This is the first instance of supercharge being annoying because it wants me to supercharge all the way to that chest, which doesn't seem probable, but it actually is. And this is where the game will start being really tricky in terms of 100% completion because supercharge changes the realms of what's actually possible because yeah there it is and that's all of them ah see that it's gonna get irritating folks but we'll power through uh so anyway that's all for this episode next time we're gonna go to uh, let's do them in order so we will not where's this peak or high case but we'll start with alpine ridge okay so I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much and goodbye.